Hi everyone! Welcome to this video about Kotlin in education. I'm really excited to share with you some quick facts and stats about why universities from all over the world include Kotlin in their courses and why you should consider doing so as well. I've talked to several dozen professors who teach Kotlin to find out why they have chosen the language. A majority of them identified Kotlin's concise and expressive syntax as their favorite feature as it allows them to use less code to get more done. Now let's take a closer look at the key reasons why professors choose Kotlin. First, it's academically recognized. Over 200 top-ranking universities include Kotlin in their courses. 25 of the top 100 universities from the Times Higher Education rankings use Kotlin. The maturity of the language is backed by the fact that since 2019, Android app development has been Kotlin first. 58% of the Kotlin courses we know about are the Android app development courses that use Kotlin as a primary language. Now let's hear from the professors. Hey everyone, my name is Rahul and I teach the Android app development class at Stanford University and I also teach pretty extensively on YouTube. I use Kotlin for everything I teach. I think it makes app development much faster and much easier. And given that it's 100% interoperable with Java and all the Java libraries that have been developed, I think it's a no-brainer that Kotlin is the path forward for Android. My name is Kat Kwan and I'm a developer advocate at Google. We create training courses to teach people how to build Android apps in Kotlin. I like teaching Kotlin because it's so concise, it helps reduce common programming mistakes, and it just makes our job as developers easier. So now is the best time to revamp your Android app development course with Kotlin. Our handy Java to Kotlin converter makes it easy to migrate existing course materials. Students don't need to master new syntax to learn different styles of programming. They can learn imperative, object-oriented and functional programming all with the same language. And last but not least, they can learn asynchronous programming and master concurrency with Kotlin. Multi-threaded, multi-processor environments are not our future, they are present, and it's really important to include this topic in the curriculum. Reactive programming, futures and promises, async await, and of course coroutines, students can learn all these commonly established approaches and concepts using only one language. In addition to its suitability for mobile app programming, Kotlin is very versatile. It's used to teach web and server-side development, algorithms and data structures, science, research, competitive programming, and more. Kotlin is used by many businesses and organizations of all sizes. More than 4.9 million people have edited Kotlin code in the past 12 months. 80% of the top 1000 apps in the Play Store use Kotlin. Kotlin is the fourth fastest growing programming language in the world. It's the fourth most loved programming language. And the number of job postings for Kotlin is rapidly increasing. I conducted a survey of Kotlin instructors and found out that feedback from the majority of their students is either positive or really, really positive. Students are happy about producing useful software quickly and about programming in a language they'll use later in their career. I really like to teach Kotlin because I think it's really fun to work with it and uh, I think it's also really great to share that fun with the students, especially when I, when I get to see their faces and they go like, oh what, you can do that? Regardless of whether your students are learning their first programming language or are already familiar with Java or Python, they'll feel at home in Kotlin. For me, the most important thing is that Kotlin's design is opinionated and yet open-minded. Opinionated because it does have some constructs that simplify certain kinds of solutions. But still it is open-minded because it doesn't force you to those constructs. And that is very important for, for, important for us at an entry-level programming language. And that's why we chose it. Seamless interoperability with the JVM ecosystem means that Kotlin can rely on a wealth of tried-and-true libraries and frameworks. Kotlin programs can call Java code without requiring any extra work and vice versa. By leveraging Kotlin's multi-platform projects, 
students can create applications that target both iOS and Android mobile platforms, as well as web, desktop, server, all with the same language. Kotlin promotes writing correct programs with static type checking and automatic memory management. Kotlin helps reduce common programming errors, so errors get caught at compile time as opposed to later during runtime. This is beneficial for beginners because it can help guide them into writing safer code up front. Kotlin's syntactic simplicity makes it beginner friendly, while at the same time it offers sophisticated features that ambitious students won't grow out of. Kotlin tooling is another key point. Using IntelliJ and Educational Tools plugin, we managed to significantly enhance our effectiveness covering more topics within our course, focusing on Kotlin. It's been really a great journey working with Kotlin. Um, I'm on board 100%. My students really enjoy it. And I think Kotlin is a really great tool for education. I'd like to sincerely thank all the professors, in particular for the input they've provided for this video, and for spreading the word out about Kotlin. And thank you all so much for your participation. Let's teach Kotlin.